Some developing news from NASA. Just in the last 20 minutes, NASA officials decided to delay this morning's launch of the Orion rocket. Wind is now playing a role in the launch, but a lot is at stake for this mission. That's because it could be the first to lead to future missions, like to Mars. Well, a group of Austinites are up early with us for this launch, on the edge of their seats, no doubt. And Kate Whitehall is live at the Bob Bullock History Museum with the story, Kate. They are hanging out strong, Brian, waiting, waiting. They just announced that there is still two hours left in the launch window, so hopefully it will happen because there are lots of families out here. They brought their young kids out with them this morning, and they will be here until 9 o'clock today. You can come out to the IMAX theater to be able to hopefully watch this launch. I'm going to see you to Katie Rainey. She is with the Family Programs Manager here with Bubba. Good morning. Good morning. Right, so there have been lots of issues this morning with this launch. Yeah, you know, conditions have to be perfect for a launch like this. This morning there's been high winds. There's been some clouds. Clouds, a couple technical issues, and of course, an errant boat in the launch area. It's always the boats, but the overall, this mission is is a big deal, and that's why so many people have come out. This is huge. Orion is the next chapter in human spaceflight exploration. This capsule is what's going to take us to the moon, to Mars, to an asteroid, and maybe even beyond. And a lot of folks, we were hearing them talk about kind of the reminiscing about the Apollo missions as well. Yeah, we've got a couple people in the audience who've actually seen rocket launches at Cape Canaveral, which is where Orion is taking off from today. And hopefully we'll have many more of these folks in the audience who will be able to see many more rocket launches uh, going to really exciting places. Awesome. And we certainly hope to be able to see this one this morning as well. Katie, thank you so much. And by the way, this might just be an opportunity for you to be able to come down here as you're getting ready for work. Again, IMAX Theater will be up until 9 o'clock this this morning to hopefully be able to watch launch. They have free coffee, free donuts downstairs. So come on down. There's still some time. And of course, we'll be keeping you posted along the way as well, guys. All right, Kate, thank you. Still about two hours left in that launch window. Of course, we will uh, continue to watch it and bring it to you live right here on KXAN News because we don't want you to miss it. This, this is a historic mission. And, um, you know, we all remember where we were when the shuttles used to launch. Mm -hmm. And hopefully we can say that one day about this. This is the next era of space yeah. exploration. And that's why we have a newscast over on the CW Austin from 7 to 9. So 844 is the window where they're saying, you know, if we don't get these winds under control, then we're just going to, you know, shoot for another day. But We're getting what they call the sea breeze coming in off the water right now, I yeah. believe. Uh, right now, a six mile per hour wind is all they're recording uh, as far as the latest check, but the gusts, that's what we're worried about. Gusting up as high as 20. So uh, if that subsides for a little period of time, they get a nice little window, they might be able to squeeze it in. Let's hope so. Yeah. I think we're a little, we're still optimistic here that they're going to get that uh, shuttle launch in this morning.